Hello world. How you all doing today? I hope you're doing quite well. Welcome to episode three of Hello World. Today we're going to talk about actually using AVG Free Edition. If you've been following me so far, we've uh, modified your startup, hopefully to make your computer startup faster. That was in episode one. And in episode two, we removed Norton and or McAfee antivirus and replaced it with AVG Free Edition antivirus. Now we're going to move forward with actually using AVG, AVG <laughs> free antivirus. So you can either open it by double clicking on the icon on your desktop or you can select the uh, shortcut in the bottom right hand corner. I always like to use the the taskbar shortcuts personally because a lot of time I have other windows open. Once it's open, uh, you basically get your overview of everything that's included in the free edition. Only thing they don't give you is ID protection. I wouldn't worry about it. Antivirus, anti-spyware, email. All of things, these things run really well. The Resident Shield is what runs in the background constantly. It scans files in real time. Email Scanner only scans email if you have like Outlook or Outlook Express or Mozilla Thunderbird. However, you have to have an email client on your computer. This does not scan your online emails. Usually those are handled by whatever your online service provider is, like Gmail or whoever. Uh, Update Manager does obviously what Update Manager does. Your license is the free edition license. And anti-spyware and antivirus are both included in the same scan. So when you scan, just a generalized scan, it'll look for both of those things. Down here, they're going to try to convince you to keep uh, buy more protection because that's how they make their money. For 99% of you, the protection offered by AVG Free is going to be more than adequate. And plus, there's other tools you can use to help remove uh, spyware that are also free that I'm going to talk about later. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to modify your uh, computer scanner. It has a uh, scheduled scan that is initially put in there as a default. What I typically do is I go ahead and run through uh, the edit on this, and I disable it because I don't like automatic scans, especially on my laptop. So I disable it. For those of you that run uh, that do a lot of downloading and, uh, and and get you know go to a lot of funny places on the internet, that's what I'm going to call them, funny places. You should run this once a week, at the very least. Um, you don't have to run it every one hour, which I'm surprised it even lets you do that. But at this specific time interval, you can say every day, only in selected days, you know what I mean? Like uh, Monday of every week, you could just uncheck all these except for Monday, and tell it what time. Personally, I disable it. I don't like to have automatic scans. I come in once a month or once every couple months and do my own manual scan. Um, <clears throat> this asks you if you want to run it on startup if it's been missed. I never do that. And uh, run if it's in low power mode. I never do that either. Now on how to scan, which is the second tab up here, always keep these top six checked. This last one I wouldn't worry about. It says infectable files only. Uh, just don't bother messing with that. Uh, I usually do process priority as automatic also. What to scan? I always do scan whole computer. Unless, of course, I want to scan something specific, but I'm going to show you here in a second a better way to do something specific. So when you're done with that, just click Save. And uh, before we scan your whole computer now, uh, we actually always want to run the updates. So go ahead and click Update Now, and that's on the left, and it's going to check for your new updates, the most recent ones. And if it finds any, it'll automatically download them, it'll automatically install them, just like any other antivirus software. And then once you've completed this actual update process, then you can move on to actually doing an in-depth scan of your computer. So, see, updates finished successfully, so I went ahead and go to uh, Computer Scanner. And then you can just select Scan Whole Computer. And what it'll do is it'll automatically switch you over into the uh, scanning mode. Now, while it's scanning, you can pause it and you know walk away from it and come back a little bit later and start it up again you know if you have to do something on your computer your your antivirus while it's scanning will always chew up tons of your processing power another reason i don't run an antivirus in the background while i'm using it another reason i always do my scans manually so there's nothing worse than you being in the middle of doing something and it's starting some kind of scan that just interrupts everything so go ahead and i sw i put mine in manual it's really it's a personal preference thing uh, i'm going to go ahead and stop this but uh, you'll do the full in-depth scan, and if it finds anything, you'll just click Next and Next. It'll t it might tell you that it needs to restart the computer before it can remove everything. That's fine. Just let it do whatever it's got to do. So now that pretty much summarizes everything you can do in the AVG Antivirus Free Edition 
itself, which is, you know, it's just an antivirus utility. Now, for those of you who are big time downloaders, which I know you're out there, you're the ones that download all the junk onto your computers, you know, whether it be music, movies, games, uh, programs, you visit all kinds of interesting websites, and you, I know you're out there, and, and, you know, I mean, it's easy to get uh, infected. So w what I usually do is when you're a downloader, there's a way to scan an individual file before you open it. Always scan files that you don't know for sure where they're coming from before you open them. When you open them, it allows them to execute and put themselves in the background of your computer and run Trojans or however else you do it. So what we'll do is we'll navigate to a file that I downloaded. It doesn't have a virus on it, but I can just go to my downloads. And let's just say hypothetically that I just downloaded this file um, uh, here. Uh, Demon 4304 Lite. AVG includes with it, just like any other antivirus, when you right-click, it'll bring up your menu. It includes the ability to scan with AVG free. Do that with every file before you open it. For those of you who are LimeWire fanatics, this is very, very important. Um, LimeWire, I'm actually, I got rid of on my computer because that's just accidents waiting to happen with that software. So then it runs your scan. And it says, see, the scan was started. And then I can open that on my computer. And computers can only run so quick. So no matter how much optimization you do, I mean, there's only going to be, at some point, you're going to reach a point where your computer's pretty much as fast as it can be. So I'm trying to open this uh, up so I can see it. Here it comes. Now it's it's going to scan every every single file that's included in that Demon Tools file light. You see that? Because when you download a file, it, it's usually zipped, and that that means it's it's in a folder and it's in a compressed folder, and it's got a number of files in it. So that's another reason that when you scan something, you have to understand that when you download a file, a lot of times it includes a lot of files, and that's how they sneak them in on you. They sneak in Trojans, and they, when they're copying over the regular installation files, they'll copy over the Trojan or the virus into the background, and they'll run it in the background. And, you know, it's very important to make sure you scan stuff before you run it. Uh, but that's basically the idea. That'll finish scanning eventually, but I'm not going to make you guys hang out here for that. And uh, if you have any other questions, that's the basics of uh, AVG Free. Um, if you have any other questions, just post a comment on my website. Um, once again, if you don't know where AVG Free is at, uh, you can view my other videos. Uh, just go to www.pcmichiana.com, and that'll lead you to our web, my website. And uh, I have all my videos posted on the website as well as all the links to all the downloads that I'm talking about here. Uh, that's for those of you who haven't watched the previous videos. So uh, if you guys get any other questions, uh, just post comments. And again, I'm, I'm working on more videos, more and more every day. Uh, so I always need new ideas for new content. And uh, once this comes up, I'll show you where the downloads are at. And then I'll uh, let you guys get at it. Right here, bottom right-hand corner, free maintenance software. AVG is what we just worked with. So everyone have a great day. I look forward to seeing you again.